Hey, it's your boy Serge Dragon, and I figured I would do this because it's only a certain amount of time before it goes out. Now, I have seen this before, but I missed the chance to do it, so it's good to see that I get the chance once again. The Arankar Encyclopedia, Tor de Hugo Mundo, the home and dimension, or realm, if you would call it, of the Espadas. Or the hollows in general. So let's go ahead and see. I don't know what the storyline is. If they showed it in the anime or not. So I'm just going to jump right in. By the way. Welcome. To another edition. Of Bleach Brave Souls. I forgot to start that with this. Oh and I haven't. Still haven't traded out. Rangiku. I'll probably do that after this. Okay, it's taking a while to load. There you go. I got my Wi-Fi on, so it should go through in just a bit. And okay, what the heck is going on? Storyline is that long or something? There it goes. Took four times. Here we go. Arankar Encyclopedia. What? Yow! What the hell? What happened? Hi there. I've been waiting for you. You! You're king! Well, how you pronounce it? Ichiramu. You're king Ichiramu! Wait, does that mean I'm in Hukumondo? That's correct. Oh, there's no need for you to put up your guard. I didn't bring you here to fight. Then why? You see, I have this segment where I get to introduce Arankars and explain more about them to people who aren't quite sure as to who they are. Oh, there was a special, but only to the... Oh, uh, hello. I did not realize my f battery was about to die. And... There you go. This was a special on the... Only in the Japanese, though. As far as the anime, they... English dub, they always cut that kind of stuff out. Uh, that sucks. Anyway, here we are. So, let's go ahead. In today's segment, I'm planning on introducing Hukamondo and interviewing you to come along on as our guest. Huh? What do you mean? I thought we'd get a little more re realism by having someone who doesn't know as much about this place. You know. Now, if you get, wait, wait, now, if you got that through your skull, we're off to our tour de Hukamondo. <laughs> huh? Wait, why is now here? <laughs> Hello, can you do this? <laughs> I swear he's broken, I swear. He's so OP. Even on hard, he's pretty OP just to keep freezing everybody. I'm still really confused about this situation. First, we'll start with the basic knowledge about Hukomundo. This is where the world where the hollows live. Our own cars like Nell live here too. She talks to herself in the third person. And it's always nighttime here. As you can see, it's very barren landscape. There's nothing there but white sand, deserts, and dead trees. There's not a drop of water anywhere. 
it's not just water that we don't have. There's nothing fun to do here either. It's a really boring place. I see. Then what do you all what do you do all the time? Nail's favorite is eternal tag. We run around Hikamondo until we completely run out of energy. Sounds like a very tiring game to me. A hollow. There, there. No need to panic. As we mentioned before, this is where the hollows live. As long as you don't do anything to them, they just walk right past us. No matter how you look at this, they're obviously trying. Uh, they're obviously trying to attack me. Thank you. You're amazing, Ichigo. You defeated those hollows so easily. There's a high concentration of Reishi in Hugomondo. So small hollows like these are able to survive just by breathing. Oh, that's interesting. This is very educational. I don't think now's the best time to be giving explanations. Why are they attacking me? Or should I say, me? You better not have set me up for this. You make me sound like such a terrible person. To make things clear, no, I haven't done anything. I suppose that's just something they do occasionally. It can be dangerous if you get caught off guard. That's something new to learn, Ichigo. I doubt anyone needs to know this kind of trivial... Trivia, really. Jeez, Ichigo. You're... St Wait. No, oh, I thought you just said Ichigo. Jeez, you are still got your pennies all in a twist. You're so petty. <laughs> pennies. It's not like you to get hurt or anything. Let this one slide, will you? You guys are really something. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Got surprises. Oh, that's a. Oh, damn. I've already got to set that up then. I want to see if I can win some prizes. Returning to title screen. Uh oh. The, to update the game. I'll be right back. Here we go. Ichigo says Hey, it looks like there's a building in the distance. What's that? Oh, a wonderful question. That is Lach Noches, which happens to be our next destination. Now can go in there too. It's a complete tour of Huk yeah. Hukumundo, after all. But I do ask that you please not get lost like you did last time oh he's talking to her don't you worry now we'll never make a mistake like that ever again what could have happened last time that might have been the one i missed i don't know i don't did i record that i don't know I, well whatever this is lost Nos lost noches our base of operations, aside from Espadas, Kaname, and I, as well as Captain Aizen, are usually here. Now then, everyone, we'll be moving along to our next stop. Since I don't have a flag, just follow this little twig I found on the ground right this way. So now you're trying to act like a tour guide?
Oh, him? Oh, boy. I've to told the Espadas many times that they really should stay in their own pl palace. But I guess a few sneak in... S still sneak outside. Everyone just does whatever they want in here? Huh. That's precisely the problem. When I think about all the devilish traps hidden about my palace, I, for one, wouldn't dare go out. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Yes, it does pose some issues. However, you still seem to be walking around rather freely, too. I was doing a little maintenance on the circuits in the palace and happened to arrive here by chance. If you're interested in an Espada palace, would you like to come over to mine right now? No thanks. There's probably some freaky stuff. He's getting closer to game. <laughs> come on now. There's no need to be shy. <laughs> He's nervous. No, really, I'll reframe, but what about you? You can go on your own if you wish. Why would I? Ooh, that's cool. I love that. That was slow motion. I have no intention of going anywhere with any sort of freaky stuff. Our guest has spoken. Thank you for in the invitation, but we'll act we're actually in the middle of a tour de Hucamundo. So we'll drop by if we have extra time on our way out. Hmm. That's quite unfortunate. Well then, when you do have a chance, please do come by. Bye bye. I doubt I'll there'll be a chance though <laughs> Ichigo are you okay why do I have to get involved in, in this weird trouble like this anyway let's move along to our next stop I don't want a next stop let me go home where's the quotation mark like let me go home Okay. I'll be back with chapter three. There we go. One more time. And that makes four, which should load. Okay, why is there a fifth? That's weird. That's six! There we go, chapter three. Ah, oh, I forgot to read the chapters. I'll go back on that later. Since we're nearly the end of our tour, why don't you give us some feedback on what you've seen so far? Do you have any questions or comments? You can ask us anything. For this special occasion, I will answer anything you ask. Huh? Um, let's see. Alright, I got one. Why don't you have a Zompak Toe even though you're not a Soul Reaper? That's because... Uh... An Arankar Zompak Toe is the center of its power and is sealed away in the form of a sword. This means that even though we call them Zompak Toes, they're different from that of a Soul Reapers. I see. So their powers are sealed inside. Huh? Well, that was stupid. Why did you auto do that? There's not even near it. I hate the auto. It's so sensitive sometimes. <laughs> it does hard. That was better. It got the next. It got somebody from the next wave over. Wow, 
one slash each. Ooh, Greninja! He's my favorite in the Bleach series. Besides Yoroichi. Hey, if their powers are inside the Zonpark Toe, are they also able to release it too? A very good question. For a Roncar, releasing their Zonpark Toe means returning to their true form. If you're so curious, I can show you. <laughs> There's a really strong looking person who showed up all of a sudden and he looks like he wants to fight Ichigo. I can see that. Don't pretend to explain the obvious as you push me towards him. Whatever I try to release my Zanpakuto, somebody always gets in the way and ruins it. Doesn't look like that's going to happen today. And I found that perfect opponent for it. In no way am I perfect for anything right now. Don't be modest. You're curious, aren't you? You want to see a Zanpakuto release, right? I am not being modest. You all, you all need to look that word up in the dictionary before you use it again. Oh, here he goes. Grind! Pan... Wait, am I pronouncing it right? Pan... T Tira! Grind, Pan Tira! I I said it right. Let's do this. That was quick. Okay, okay, that's enough. You've had your fun. If you continue any longer, you're probably ruined this palace. I'm sure no one wants that sort of trouble, especially if Kaname gets involved. For the record, Kaname is the black blind guy in the Bleach series who betrayed the Soul, Re Soul Society, besides Aizen and Gin. If you remember. <laughs> Hey, you better fight me more seriously next time we get do this. Got that? <sighs> I Ichigo, are you okay? You need to stay strong. It's almost time to wrap this up. You're more worried about the segment than me? You were able to learn about Hukamundo and Lach Noches, as well as Erankar's Zanpak Toe release. Green Jiao even got his chance to show off his Resurrection Shon, or how you pronounce that. So all in all, everything went well. And that wraps up today's Erankar Encyclopedia. Thanks for coming. Have a safe trip home. Good job today, Ichigo. To the day we meet again. Wait! Hey! At least tell me how to get home! Oh, I think that really is it. One point only. Damn, I really gotta get rank up those points if I want some more items, jewels, and stuff. Yep, that's it. I just have, have completed all these little ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Out of which, apparently, there it was one that I missed. Because this must be the second one. This, they said it. But, uh, I think it really was, or I did the storyline and didn't record it. Because I didn't have the storage base back then. You all know that already if you follow me. And in which case, uh, go ahead and end it here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Comment down below how you think. I would really appreciate it. You got any questions, I'll gladly answer. I would really appreciate it if you would share this video to anyone who might be interested in this game. And the storyline that was from the ep episodes. 
probably as a special at the end of the Japanese episodes, not the English dub. Also included, please just hit that subscribe button to see more of my videos and that notification for when I upload. And either which, that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.